and there is this um, video in which you're teaching your students Roman numerals and you're telling them, well, <laughs> we speak about Roman numerals, but who even uses them? But there are certain instances in which you use them. And then you show David Beckham's arm and the tattoos on his arm. And you say, look at this. There is a Roman numeral date on it. And then you go to Latin and you speak about how we can figure out how the Latin language was pronounced through misspellings. Yeah. So, yeah, so how, time. where is this, where was your, um, you know, this, this craft of teaching honed? Where did you think that this is how you would like to teach? I, I think I got the sense, and this is a bit like gatekeeping really. I got the sense that a lot of the way that we teach students, or we talk to the general public, or we teach kids at high school. Um, a lot of that is quite defensive. You know, it's quite a lot of it is about saying, I'm going to show you that I know a lot and you don't. Um, and uh, I, I will let you into this, but you've got to play by my rules. Now, you know, in the end, if you're going to learn Latin and Greek, you know, I'm the first to confess that sometimes you have to play by the teacher's rules. But it's, it, it's I think, it, I mean, what I wanted to do was convince people that they were already in this subject a bit. I mean, I, I have to say um, that this took place about 10, more than 10 years ago when David Beckham was slightly more kind of fashionable <laughs> than he is now. I think if you got a group of 15 year olds and started talking about David Beckham, now they might think that you're a bit, um, a bit past it. Um, but it was, uh, uh, I'd agreed. It was it was actually on a television program, which um, a celebrity chef in the UK, Jamie Oliver, had set up, and he'd he'd hired um, public figures to try to inspire uh, a group of children who'd failed at school. They were fifteen, and they were all failures. Now, actually, I have to say it was one of the most difficult things I've ever done, you know, but, you know, we, we all walked in and there were, we divided, the teachers divided into those who thought, well, this is going to be easy, you know, and those who thought, oh my goodness me, you know, this is terrifying. And it was terrifying, but they taught me a lot. And in, in some ways, I mean, it's interesting that you remember and have seen the, the David Beckham tattoos because I, I saw talking to them, how they, they were already actually invested in some ways in the ancient world, but they were just a bit, bit too scared uh, and a bit too out of it mm. to say. And, and I think one of the things that, that came a bit later, and I, I don't know if it was ever made it to the final program, um, but they got very, very interested in Roman numerals. Now, actually, I have to say, I am not the slightest bit interested in Roman numerals, you know, X, L, V, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, you know, and I still, you know, after yeah. having learned Latin for 50 years, I still think, what the hell's that? Yeah. Um, but they got really interested, and we did loads of them. Eventually, as, as I got to know them better, I said, look, why are you so interested in Roman numerals? And they said, uh, and I'm not sure if this is the same on Indian film and television, but it's certainly true in the UK, that the date of a movie or the date of a television programme at the very end of the credits is written in Roman numerals. And they never knew, they'd never been able to work out when these programmes were made. Now, I suspect that's part of the point. Yeah. That the television makers don't want you to know that this was actually made <laughs> 15 years ago. Um, but they wanted to decode this. And I, I thought, you know, look, it is all around us. You know, it's all around us and we haven't gone, we haven't gone halfway to meet people's interest or to let them say, there's this stuff at the end of the credit and I can't tell you, you know, I don't know when the programme's made.